ndio bwo ndudu eh ndio yes we 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 are uh, we don't we don't look for problem but in the world of today we must defend our interests with brutality with extreme brutality there is a clip i will also play about it's on my timeline jonas rafael on facebook i think manzi china samoro also is on also on his timeline let me let me bring it out a confession or a revelation i will not call it confession a revelation of a CIA, a former CIA director. How America destroyed other places. The war in many countries for them to be great. Because without without eating others, you will not be big. <laughs> you understand? That is the rule of the world, brutality. Let me finish playing this internal one. forces fighting him, apart from external forces. And it's not only us. External forces and internal forces are fighting other groups all over the world. Yes. But we must be firm and, root and determined. Firm and determined. Ruthless. We must treat our enemies as enemies and treat our friends as friends. Of course. You don't use key glues on your enemies. Yes. The whole essence of life is war. The whole essence of life is war. This man killed it here. Life is, a, is a war, war, war. Do you see, as I'm speaking, there are bacteria and all that different types of uh, organisms that are perpetually fighting in my body, in each and every one of us, our bodies, making sure to kill us. It's a war. And our body... Our bodies are also armed with our natural immune that is fighting. This is 247. It's about war. Because our, our immune is more powerful than all those ones, all those foreign bodies, all those antigens. That is why we are still alive. It's a process. Death, war. Then it was to life. Death, war, death, war, life, death, war, life. That is how the world is. So for us to understand, that is why it is said, he who loves his life loses it. You know, if you if you love your life uh, too much, you will not you cannot even enlist in order to become a military. A military personnel in a place the, where there is war mostly in a place where there is war like in ukraine like in israel like in lebanon like in russia like in many other places because you know that you might die but the issue is that your death is contributing to the building of the country solidifying the country so that is in death there is life Did you see that that is what this man is, is trying to portray. In death, there is life. But when everybody say, no, <laughs> no, we don't want to, I don't want to die on our beg, you, you will be alive, but you'll be, you will live in penury. You will regret and say, now why are we even alive? Like the, the, the type of life the Nigerian Caliphate is trying to subjugate us, dear friends. To live a life of regret. You know, there comes a time when you say, no, it's better. Is it not better I die self than living like this? So, in order to avoid this type of life, regrettable life, we become brutal against our enemies and be good to our friends. That is it. The whole essence of life is war. Either you are fighting or you are not fighting. Either you keep quiet and you are crushed or you crush your own enemy. Whoever declares Ndibu an enemy must be taken as an enemy. And Ndibu must be ruthless with their enemies. What did I say? We must be ruthless with our enemies. Days are gone when the Igbos will continue to talk about either you agree that I'm a local or you are not 
you you go into extinct. Those who are determined will extinct you. Of course. Of course. I totally agree with this man. He's a wise man. I totally agree. If you are in this world, say, no, you don't want to problem, you don't want to fight, or you know, you will become a football. Look at the Fulani. A, minor, a, a minute minority being armed by America and the West, as they do to other places. They do in, in, uh, in South America, in Central America. They destroy civilizations for them to be great. That is why I tell you, look, uh, when you see a lion, you admire a lion, very strong. Are you hearing me? Very strong. You admire a lion. That lion you are seeing, what you are seeing his uh, components, the components that are, is giving him the future of a lion are the blood of different other animals. You can, if you want, call them innocent animals. It's what he's feeding on. That is why you see. You cannot be strong without, uh, you know, showing your strength. And how do you show your strength? To use it against others. That is the rule of this world. I want us to remind I want to remind us this always so that we stop looking for pity pity no person pities you we are in a world where there is no pity in a pitiless world where you have to fight in order to rise up you know you go to the bush a forest just check around the whole plants some are little you see dead uh, plants you see all of them are fighting for survival. You will see uh, uh, the one that grows, you know, comes out, or sprouts, and become big tree. He will start overshadowing, overshadowing others. Go to a very thick forest. It's not a farmland, a thick forest, virgin. When you see big trees there, you will see under the trees, there are little or no small plants. You see dead leaves. Because he has overshadowed that place. So that the sun does not pierce under. And the ones of plants that cannot uh, get the sun, they will not grow. He made it. That is the world we are in. You have to rise up. Look at the chaos that is going on everywhere. Israel with uh, other Arab countries. Uh, with uh, Iran. Uh, uh, America is supporting those that they are supporting. Oh. Russia, Ukraine, oh. uh, Russia is uh, fighting off in order to rise more and more against uh, NATO, against the uh, European Union with America, against the West, because they want to subjugate Russia to become ordinary country so that no once they say uh, eh, Russia cannot counter no other person. And that is a unipolar world they want to maintain. That is what is going on. So that you know, they can be able to come out and make a and you know make a decree in their own way, use their media preponderance. Tell everybody, every country now you have to make a law that uh, male are now female. I'm just giving an example. And there will be no, if you say, them, they crush you, either through your food. They crush you through anyhow. They are in charge of our government. That is why Tinibu, I think Tinibu is flying again to, to London. Uh, he's on the news headline. President Tinibu to pass Abuja Wednesday for UK vacation. About two weeks after return from London. That is it. He's the person that is a... <laughs> Oh, God Almighty. Do you know a president normally that has the state secret always going vacation on foreign land like United Nations, the United Kingdom? Do you know what it means? He's going to give account, physical, of what he's doing and to receive more instruction. That is it. Are you hearing me? Do you know that it is, it is rare 
for countries like America and other advanced countries, for their presidents, number one citizens, to go be in office, to go on vacance or vacation in another country, in a foreign land. Do you know, do you know that? Because anything can go wrong. <laughs> Are you hearing me? About to state secret. But the Nigerian president, they even... Ah, what? Why do you celebrate? You say you have independence. Sometimes it's, 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 it's horrific. It's shameful. Let me play this clip. Just listen to this clip. Let me... Let me play this fresh clip. Just hold on. Ladies and just hold on. Let me first play this clip. There is one clip that just come in. I will play it, but let me play this one. For you to understand, you know, the world we are in. Constitutional democracy in over 20 countries. We manipulated elections this in is dozens of countries. A former CIA. This is a former CIA director speaking, making revelations. Listen. We created standing armies and directed them to fight. We went after to organize ethnic minorities to encourage them to revolt. The first thing we did in the we, he said, we, we, that is America, the government, they, they arm ethnic minorities in different countries, arm them, train them, in order to go all out war against others, like what the Fulani is doing today in Nigeria. It, is, it comes from the horse's mouth. It's what he engaged in. That is how they are great. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, when you talk about justice in this world, you are, you are demented. There is no justice. There is no equity. It depends on the contact you have. It depends on who you know. It depends on your type of politics. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This world is about the right politics to survive as a people. I'm not talking about the individual. The right politics to survive. That is why I, and the, the will also, the actions, the organization of the people, that is what matters. This man listened to his revelation. Nicaragua was to go to the Mosquito Indians who had never gotten along with the other people in Nicaragua very well and give them more money than they had seen in the entirety of history and arms and training and rationales and sanctuaries in Honduras and sent them into Nicaragua to attack, kill, fight, rape, burn, pillage. And this is an insidious thing. Every The armed um, minority ethnicities like in Nicaragua, what they did, what he specifically did under his command as a CIA he supervised the arm my ethnic minority when they see that there is a problem these are the people that could be used the arm minority in order to offset the balance so that there will be no balance minority will be killing everybody have you asked yourself how is Boko Haram getting uh, 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 arms. How many times have you seen, you see, recorded on social media where Western choppers used to bring uh, arms to Fulani killer headers? They call the bandits. How many times? Boko Haram has been on the rampage. Since 2000, uh, Fulani headsmen on the rampage, ISIS or ISWAP, the same thing. Do you think all those things are just by luck or it's just out of coincidence? No, it is there for a purpose 
Dr. Njemanze, he revealed something. But Nigerians do not care. They are into content creation. They are into comedy. They don't care about what the future holds for everybody. And Bigate came to Nigeria always on red carpet. Welcome on red carpet. Do you, do you see? No, nobody cares. These are the actions of America, the CIA, the West in general. They arm the Fulani. They arm the ethnic minority in order to go on rampage against others. They will be getting what they want. They will be stealing. And they keep everywhere bleeding. As they want Russia to be bleeding, to weaken Russia, so that they cannot rise up, they cannot even be thinking of helping others. Do you see their, that is their policy. <laughs> Russia will be engaged in Ukraine to the extent that, you know, they will keep them busy and, uh, they, you know, uh, for them, uh, they will not be able to help other countries. Are you hearing me? That is what is going on. That is the world we are in. Continue listening. Society is torn with racial conflict to attack, kill, fight, rape, burn, pillage. And this is an insidious thing. Every society is torn with racial conflicts and conflicts with minorities. Think how violent our nation is. Think what if there were a super, super power so big that we didn't dare even flap back or strike back at them that were coming to our minorities with huge sums of money and arms and, and, and training people from our minority groups and sending them into the country to do open acts of violence. How we would rise up and the bloodbath that would ensue. And this has been a technique the CIA has used in Nicaragua. This is a technique the CIA has used. He, he asked his fellow Americans, he said, look, Imagine that a foreign country come to America and arm the minority groups to kill, kill them, to pillage, rape their women, kill unborn babies as, as they want. How would you feel? How will every American rise up against it? But he said, this is what they are doing in foreign in foreign countries like Nigeria this is what they are doing like in Congo in Nicaragua in Thailand this is what makes them oh oh god bless America <laughs> hey god oh, this is it this is it uh, it comes from the John Stockwell this is a CIA former CIA director you know you know sometimes why I like some of them is this after committing all this, they cannot, they cannot, uh, they, they cannot bear, when they look back in, at what they have committed, some of them cannot bear it, more. as you know, we need to confess to the world. We need to reveal to the world so that people will know. To remove that guilt in him. Are you hearing me? That is why the other clip I played, the man said, this world is about war. Life is about war. And the bug is about war. That's it. So, you make yourself strong. How do we become strong? Or more stronger? Be unified under one umbrella. Being guided by our natural ideology. Not uh, these people say, they are saying, they are saying, no, I know they are not among. In a place, a people that cannot be organized, these are a, 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 a people destined to extinction. We should understand the world we are in. Here on Radio Biafra, we tell you how the world, the dynamics of the world, it is not what we are thinking. 
The way we think, oh, we will be here. Oh, they will come and help us. Oh, yeah, come and give us a Biafra. Oh, yeah, come and do this. You are, come, you, how, how many have you done for people? How many? You see in Ukraine, when the war broke out, you see how foreigners start running. Running away. Even at the strange, uh, train station going to Poland and other places, they start, black people, Africans start, uh, uh, they, are, they, they don't want us to go. They are favoring their citizens first, white people first. Every time. You, and you are running away. When they finish fighting, you go start to clear, uh, uh, claiming right. <laughs> Do you help them? But you want people, hey, hey, come and do it for us. No, you by yourself. We must, we must. That is how the world is. There is no pity. There, this world is not about pity, pity. It's about interest. It's about resistance. It's about fighting. It's about warring. It's about you being brutal. It's about you being heady, you know, being collective and being consistent in what you ask, your aspiration in order to build the system. The system that can make everybody to thrive. The system that can, we can be proud of. Not being proud of other people's system. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When we say, hey, no, hey, look at uh, this Nigerian. He's a Nigerian man that uh, built this thing. But where is he? In, in America. Why couldn't he do it in our place? Because there is no system. The system does not favor the talent. But you see it. The first thing for people to do is to build a system. Not individual. Build a system. That is cultivating a garden. Before you are, you are, you know, as a farmer, before you can plant and the plant will, will grow, you have to prepare the land. Water it. If there is no water, if there is no rain, you irrigate it. You apply manure if it is not rich. You remove the grasses. You remove the weeds. You don't go to inside the Okonto, inside the big, big forest, start planting. You plant a cassava, plant a tomato. Plan, say it will grow. No, no, no. You must prepare. That is building a system. And you also create, a, create structures, which means you have to protect it from insects. Be ready. Because all those plants will be attacked by insects, by different, different diseases. Be, you will be ready. Even physical animals. So to protect the place. Not when it start growing, monkeys will go and start uh, uh, destroying it. Other animals, insects, you must prepare all these things. That is for you to have a successful garden. That is a system. Building a system, you know, so that nothing, the, the, the whole plants will be growing. That is what it is like building a country. It's a system, building a system. It's not about individualism. The garden or the farm must be prepared, tilled, weeds removed, unwanted trees removed. You know, ground tilled. Now, it will, when you plant it, it will sprout. That is the system. When you as a black person, as a Nigerian, you, you thrive in America, you thrive in Canada. And you say, ah, look at what you have built. You know, you, it's not you. It's the system that made you, bring, brought out, sprout out that talent. Why is it that uh, uh, you see the, our, the, the Nigerian footballer now, Osime? Why is he shining? But why is he shining now? I think now he's in Turkey. From Italy to Turkey. People are, thousands if not millions of people are supporting, watching him and he is going very well. Because it's, it is the system they built that is making him to grow, to showcase his talent. Had it been he stays in Nigeria, where there is no money in football, he will grow old and become nothing. There are people that play more than him, but they are okay.
Nothing. Because there is no system, there is no, you know, vibrant system, favorable system that will make their talent to sprout. Last time, how many years back? Dangote, I think somebody posted it, uh, I saw it also. Uh, Dangote was talking about his um, ambition to buy Arsenal. Dangote, the richest man in Africa. The house man or uh, full animal. I was looking. I was I was shaking head. I think uh, they told him four billion, and he was say it's too much. He wanted to buy Arsenal, and I look at people. I look at black people. I look at Nigerians. I shiver. This money, this man, what makes him listen? As rich as he is, he wants to go to where. Uh, in the club of uh, yeah, uh, Ndiocha, so that the uh, Corona in the midst of them, nah, no, we are asking never. They look at him. That is why they rose the price so that he cannot buy it. Because they look at your background, they say, "Look, this this is an idiot. You want to come and reap where he does not sow. He is having more being uh, where well, it does not mean that he is. Uh, uh, he should be counted." As equal to us, when you ask who is the owner of Arsenal, uh, like um, Manchester City, the owner, I think, from UAE, if I'm not wrong. Now, this one, UAE, you go Dubai, they have built their country, they look at your background. Your money is nothing, they look at your place, how you walk in your place. Had it been Dangote, they, they have a normal common sense. He would have started with, even if it is canopilas. One club in Nigeria, whether or not he buy to build one nice stadium, make people develop only one club, one club. So that that club, everybody, every player in any club in Nigeria will like to be, so that people at least, you see people receiving maybe 10 million naira in a month in that one club. That is how development comes. Before you know it, they will win. They will be winning Nigerian uh, uh, Premier League. From Nigerian Premier League, they will be winning uh, 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 African uh, Champions League. From there, you, you, all that you, what is stimulation, competition. But do they know it? From there, other billionaires will say, okay, oh, this man is doing this. Let me also buy one club. From the, everybody, people, you know, that is, you start up a competition from your homeland, from your place. But no, they, how, how, how many are come monkey now? They treated him like monkey. So if uh, this Russian man can come and buy, uh, what is his club? Um, is it... Um, uh, um, uh, Chelsea, uh, Arab man can buy um, uh, 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 this other one, Manchester City. Chinese man buy another club in England. Now you call in a Nigerian will come and buy us. And look at they say, look at the monkey. They refer you. They they check your country first. Say look at all these other people. They check their the background of their countries. They know that they are doing well. That they are worthy. What makes them not to develop Nigerian Nigerian uh, uh, league? What makes them? He had the money. He can he can build and beautify one 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 uh, one stadium. Makes it in his their own stadium. Buy a club. The players. It becomes a prestigious club. They can be signing play, players. Hundred million naira. Two hundred million naira. People will be, you see, people, when you give money now, people will give, bring out their talents. And everybody will want to play there. You must be qualified. Instead of going to Europe, people will now start flocking there and taking all the trophies, both uh, Nigerian and African, even going international or intercontinental. But uh, Nigeria, they don't want to build. They want to go and enjoy where it is already made. You see it. So that is it. To build a country. Let me tell you, if you're a Biafran, 
anywhere you are around the world in other people's built country please stop complaining about uh, uh, discrimination it is not your place uh, whenever you are being discriminated you uh, it, it, it is it is something that should remind you that look i need, we need to build a system don't blame them i say don't blame them how will you feel when you were in your father's land in a Allah, in a navy in a, everywhere will be developed 247 electricity roads everything you know you have a metro everything people will be dying to come to get visa to come to our land when people come they will be you know making every way to marry our old women to get paper they have you imagined yourself how will you be feeling what type of pride you will be filled with pride uh, do, do you see that so whenever anywhere you are i say stop claiming right right you is not your place if you are being discriminated so they, let it energize you so that you 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 support what ipob is doing to build to restore our nation are you hearing me don't claim oh, because i'm black i'm uh, because i'm an african because i'm a nigerian no stop claiming that it blinds your eyes be be annoyed let there be positive indignation in you to make you be remembering your place that we need to build our place we need to have, if i'm in my land can can this person i'm sitting in a train be closing his in his nose he don't want me to sit down he don't want to sit down near a black person near me maybe because i'm in his land imagine i'm in my place developed will i be undergoing this let this be your thought always not claiming uh, uh, right uh, no you must no 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 please it's an advice very very bitter one boy you say it's no, it's normal please let's continue listening to this uh, ex uh, cia director in thailand in vietnam in laos in the congo in, in Iran, Iraq with the Kurds in different parts of the world. We created, trained, and funded death squads like the Treasury Police and elsewhere. They've created, funded, and, and trained death squads. Death squads. Like the Fulani headsmen killers. Like the Fulani terrorists, they call bandits. Uh, the, the hands that are sponsoring them is the waste. When they are killing, pillaging, destroying our farmland and you see our men and women crying shedding tears they cut the people in pieces in our farms these are sponsored by the west look at them these are the main terrorists in the world are you hearing me when they, you know, after they come and do lip service in television now we condemn oh, what is going on but they are sponsoring it that is the wicked world we are in you hearing what I'm saying? That is it, the reality. El Salvador, that are responsible for killing as many as 70,000 people, according to the count of the Catholic Church. And we've assassinated world leaders. We have assassinated world leaders. Including the United States President. In including the United States President in 1963. Who is that? John F. Kennedy. Uh, after uh, 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 they do uh, uh, write uh, one in Christopher report, I read that. I said, and that one day, uh, we know. I am more kakaraka. It's a CIA job, but uh, they nail it on one person, and after they kill the person, Lee have had also world that he killed the president. It's a, it's a single-handed operation. Is this and that? That is a report. Uh, it's their problem anyway. It's not my concern, but what they are what they are causing all over the world that is our problem that is our problem but they are the people that we start preaching they will preach to us about human rights they will preach to us about the, everything but they are guilty of all 
we must rise up and stand on our feet. When you understand these secrets, now you become armed with the reality on how to go with this in this world. This is not a world of uh, roses. Are you hearing me? You you don't do not you stay quiet and don't do nothing and become completely subjugated to be slaves, living on your knees all the days of your life. We rise up to fight as we are doing to restore a nation and we continue building this nation to a standard, creating a system that is vibrant, a vibrant system that is for the benefit of everybody. 1963, and I'll get to that in more detail in just a moment. Getting back to the subject of democracy, since that, that's something that Bush and everyone is talking about right now, uh, I remind you of Chile. In 1973, the CIA organized the overthrow of Salvador Allende, the democratically elected president of Chile. And he that is it. They talk of democracy, but all is to their as long as he's serving them. If your so-called democracy is not serving them, they will, they, they will destroy you. They will remove you in one way or the other. They will remove you so that they will be in charge. The millions of people dying in their hands all over the world. They are sponsoring them. Everything. That is the world we are in. He was killed in the process, and we killed General Schneider who was the pro-U.S. defender of the Constitution there, in order to put the CIA's representative Pinochet in power. And Henry Kissinger's, when he was grilled by the Congress over this program, his rationale was, yes, the issues are much too important for the Chilean voters to be left to decide for themselves. Now, there was a long CIA destabilization and propaganda campaign against China. We were parachuting teams from Kemoi Matsu, uh, Tibet, Burma, Thailand to destabilize China with the propaganda campaign, the propaganda aimed at the United States as well as uh, China and other parts of the world until eventually we talked ourselves into the Korean War in which a million people were, where we fought China and Korea and a million people were killed. There was a long CIA destabilization and propaganda campaign against Vietnam until we talked ourselves into going into Vietnam to fight and two million people were killed. Again, read for yourselves. Read Bill Blum's book, The CIA of Forgotten History. Read Portrait of a Cold Warrior by Joseph Burkholder Smith, who was a CIA case officer in Southeast Asia. Read Fire in the Lake by Frances Fitzgerald, the daughter of Desmond Fitzgerald, the famous CIA chief of operations of Southeast Asia. Read Deadly Deceits by Ralph McGeehy, another case officer who served in Southeast Asia. Read Decent Interval by Frank Snap, who covered the period of time in Vietnam, 73, 75. He and I were colleagues there at that time. Or if you will, read my own book, In Search of Enemies, by Norton, which remains the only insider's detailed account of the, of the inner functionings of a covert action. Or read Washington's War on Nicaragua, by Holly Sklar, not written by an insider, but a remarkable detail on the Nicaraguan operation, great detail of how that operation has been run trying to come to grips with these CIA activities and these broad numbers, trying to figure out how many people have been killed. You can count it up different ways. You can never be sure how many people are killed in the jungles of, of Laos or the hills of Nicaragua. But adding them up as best we can, we come up with a figure of 6 million people killed, minimum figure. Minimum figure of 6 million people killed in the jungles of Nicaragua. Today, these are the people that they call the illegal immigrants. They push the impoverished people and they build walls to let them out. They make you poor, make you miserable in your country so that you start coming to their place as your savior. I am telling you, this is a, this is a wicked world. I'm telling you honestly. This is a wicked world. So we have, to, we have to find a way in order to fit ourselves in, in this wicked world. Yes, that's it. If you continue saying, uh, you know, that's why when I look at our people, this religious mindset, it, it pains me a lot. Because 
This religion blinds our people not to understand how the world works. Oh, this is a... God is good. The devil is bad. Who tell you that? Who tell you that? You, if, you, if, you cannot, if, you, if you cannot commit atrocities as a people, you cannot make it. As a people, I'm, I'm saying. I want people, please... I want our people and they make the research. The establishment of this Israel you are seeing in the mandate of Palestine. Go, go and make researches. Not reading one piece and come out. No, no, no. You study deep. Make researches and find out. And you will see, you will come out with a different mindset. We praise people that uh, Commits in uh, uh, genocide against people, and we are shouting of uh, Fulani committing genocide against us as indigenous people. Does it make sense? Does it make sense at all? When I look at our people, you know, they use m media propaganda, Western propaganda can turn your killer. You will embrace your killer and shoot your savior. That is what is happening to our brain. Make your researches and studies. Stop this religious sentiment. Blockade it. Be neutral in your mindset and make researches. And you will thank me later. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You will understand the politics of the world. There are things I will not uh, I don't want to say. But when go make your researches and you find out by yourself. It has to be more than that. A million in the Korean War. Two million in the Vietnam War, 800,000 in Indonesia, a couple of million in Cambodia, 20,000 in Angola, the operation I was part of, 22,000 in Nicaragua. Again, the figure the New York. This, this figures is talking about is a minimum, just a minimum figures of people, dead people, people that lost their lives in the operations for being great, for making America great. These are the, these are, you know, number people, 700 million, uh, 700,000, uh, 80,000, 20,000 in Angola, 6 million in Congo. These are, these are all people that perish. People that we are innocent people. <laughs> you know, when we talk about, you, you, you either, human being is a political animal. Are you hearing me? In one way, there is no innocent human being. Because you must be political. You, that is political about being conscious about your nationality, your nation. That is political. Are you hearing me? Because a nation, you are a component of your nation. So removing you, depleting your numbers is also doing harm to your nation. That is what it means. When they kill us as Biafrans, oh, they have killed this person. Oh, oh nation, they are depleting our numbers and they are harming us as a nation. Because that person that is killed, that person you call innocent person that was killed, he, can, he, he, he is useful. She is useful in our nation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who knows that uh, Philip M. Awali will become the inventor of a supercomputer today? Philip Emma Wally that said, I think he suffered from Kwashoka. Had it been he died, who would have done it? Had it been he was killed in the war, it would have been one of the people, a number. Oh, all those people. Do you know the people that have been shot and killed by Nigerian police, innocent Biafrans? Do you know what the contribution they would have made to this, our effort to our country in the future? Do you know that? Do you know what it means? This man is counting figures. Rough figures. Dead people. Depleting. People that would have given their country one thing or the other. Some that would have even been the president. Some would have been even the revolutionary leaders of revolution. Some would have been inventors of one thing or the other. Some would have been one contributing one thing, but they killed them. They extinguished them. That is it. So when you are hearing him talking about figures, he's a dead people. What they cause to be great. Hearing what I'm saying. 
many people what is happening in the middle east i see when i look at the comments of some of our people even in this struggle i i don't know whether i start shedding tears or what ignorance is what is driving our people i don't want to enter into i'm not supporting any side but imagine what we are suffering other people are suffering the same fate and you are supporting their killers and you want to be free from your own killer are you not useless are you not stupid uh, tell me how are you not stupid just let us uh, let us tell ourselves the truth we are not supporting one side or the other but it is their problem but we learn from them and when you are there uh, you know supporting maybe the killer of uh, people that are like you and you are in the same situation you want uh, 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 justice for you 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 know because you they are taking over your land and you, you are supporting some other people openly oh, what does it make you tell me <laughs> do you think you you will see your own just like we praise in the bible you know that is why we praise uh, we read bible oh um, and god of israel said tell them go and destroy kill everybody kill uh, the indigenous people the jebusites the amorites they they have sinned and now israel become their punisher their god tell them go and kill the same way and when you when you praise them use it to do someone in your churches remember the suffering you are suffering the god of the fallen he tell them the same thing the Allah tell them you have sinned because you are infidel they say go and take their land Kill their prey. That is why they come in our fun land and kill and destroy because their God have told them the same thing. How are you going to do you do you see the correlation? So sometimes you become neutral in your judgment. Not only praising, only openly because of sentiment. Because it makes you idiot. It will, it will be idiot. It makes you think like reason foolishly. Hearing what I'm saying. Continue listening. Time sites. You're dealing with large numbers of people who died who would not have died if our tax dollars had not been spent by the CIA to exacerbate situations and destabilize and set people to fighting. So you began to analyze these figures to figure out. And set people to fighting. They destabilize countries. And set people to fighting. They use raw dollars. You know, somebody said that um, when America say America, they are owing uh, billions or trillions of money or dollars. How they uh, they will not pay? It. They will not be ever going to pay it because the dollar belongs to them. They simply print the dollars. <laughs> somebody will tell me, no, there is a control, a sophisticated control. Is it not human being controlling it? All these words of, you know, uh, 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 briefcases of money they use. If they come, they give a, 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 a book around members, you know, give them hundreds or thousands, hundreds of thousands of uh, dollars in order to buy, give them uh, uh, an arms in order to get solid minerals from them illegally. How do they get it? Is it not their money? They simply, I know the CIA, the America have secret printing for their own illegal use of CIA covert operations. They have it. You can't control them. It's a paper. They simply print it and bring it out. You know, uh, before, North Korea engaged in printing dollar. America started, uh, you know, America was hunting them. That's why America, even in the high sea, in Pacific uh, Ocean, America, because if they print it, containers of dollars, you can never find out the same. The same. Some people say it's only when you burn uh, the, the, the money, the notes, now the smoke from the smoke, you know. But who? how can you burn money? Because they have the, the, the original... How do they call it? The original, this thing, with that thing they used to print it. They have it. They have everything. North Korea. In America, they, it's their money they are using. So that is so that is a unipolar world. If you send money, let's say, 
Any money you send through electronic device uh, converted to dollars or any from from Naira to which other city, send Niger from Ghana to Nigeria or Nigeria to Ghana. They will first of all convert it to dollar, convert the Naira to dollar. Now the dollar, they now convert it back to Ghana city. For example, just giving an example. So America have their commission. So the whole transactions that is going on, America, international transactions, America have their commission in everything as dollars because you are using their money. That is what Russia now, you know, you know America shoot themselves in the foot. They sanctioned Russia. And Russia now is trying to win themselves, W-E-A-N, Iwepu, Ononana, from using American dollars. And it's, hot, it's going to hurt America in the future. Because when they successfully, you know, as they have done another mode of payment, apart from American dollar, you see different countries will now be doing businesses no more with dollars, with their own currencies. The convertibility will no more involve dollar. And at that time, America will be losing, heavy losing. Because as of today, they are gaining in everything. You sell crude oil from Nigeria, is dollar. You sell crude oil Nigeria from Nigeria to let's say to another African country to Rwanda, America again because you are using their money. That is unipolar world. This is what the world the the world is trying to enter into unipolar. I mean multipolarism, whereby you can you you have other choices. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You have other choices. Just like there is a one news headline, they say, wait, let me see whether I can. Okay, Google bans a Pan African media organization over alleged link to Russia. Do you see it? Because it is their thing, they monopolize it. Google, but this will make other search engines. You have such other such engines to be more to be come up and become more popular, and people will start by passing American Google and others. Where did I see it again? Where did I see it again? You know, Google bans uh, Pan African. Wait, Google bans Pan African. Come on, come now. My goodness me. Just so done, I don't know. Google bans Pan-African media organization over alleged, alleged the links to Russia. It is their thing. So, they call, don't, don't you see how, uh, like in, in our outlets, in, in Facebook, don't you see how they are stifling us? Right from the time of Mazen Namdekar, don't you see every time he's crying? Now, we don't, we know, we don't even talk again. You go to our, like, uh, uh, IPOB Rapture Media, the Biafran Digest. What you see there, when, when Radio Biafra, you see 500 plays. But in the recess of it, it is being watched by more than 30,000 people. But they could, just to discourage you, some places you'll be broadcasting, they will not even be seeing it. It is the thing. It is a, a unipolar, unipolar world. That is what America wants to maintain. That is why this war everywhere, in order to maintain unipolarity, so that no, they will become the all and all, the apex of the pyramid. You don't dare talk. Everything they will direct you how you do. If you talk, if I'm talking something that is not, they will they will not allow you to see it. They will not allow you to hear. Have you? Have you forgotten? When our radio Biafra, they removed it. They bought they 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 bought they bought radio Biafra. It's an Israeli company that was hosting radio Biafra. Have you forgotten? They don't pity you. They don't say, Oh, yeah, you 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 like us as Israel. We are brothers. So Biafra, okay, no, 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 no. Two thousand and fifteen, immediately Buhari enter power, they remove it. A couple radio Biafra. That's why some of our people are out of sentiment. When you are not informed, you are deformed, honestly speaking. 
Imagine, after IPOB went around the beginning everywhere to pay satellite, no way. The people that gave us uh, what we are using today is people that you hate. That's why I'm legging our people. No, ignorance. Ignorance. Remove religion. I tell, if we are talking, we are talking out of with authority. Remove religion. Those that you are using religion to love, they hate you with, with reckless. They don't even see you as a human being. People that see you as a human being, people that want you to make friends with you, people that serve you are the people you are hating. It's very, very sad, honestly. Very, very sad. In the, the people that make, if I'm talking, you are listening. You are you tune in on IPOB community radio and I can hear Neku. Is the people that you will ever hate in the Russia because of one religion or the other, because of sentiment, but all the people that they are serving us. The people you call the Chuku Popotara non Dinku Chuku non Digana how monege. You are supporting blindly. These are the people they don't even know that you exist in. They don't care whether you are alive or whether you are rotten, that is not their problem. So we should be wise. In politics, there is no sentiment. It's about interest. It's about interest. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We should be wise. That's the only thing I will say. Let me continue playing this because this man made revelations i think he said it many years back uh, who 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 are these six million people we've killed and again that's a minimum figure that can six million people they killed <laughs> when they are you know this man a human being uh, they destroy lives they didn't they cannot create six million people seven hundred thousand uh, one million 500,000, 80,000, 30,000 human beings they kill, killed. And those people that are being killed, suffering, they didn't know that I can. When you tell them, when you, you know, the worst is they will be killing you, supporting, I mean, training your killers. Now you see them, they will use one. NGO or the other be bringing food for you so that to sanitize their image and you'll be praising them. Oh, they are serving us. Ah, these people, they, they love us. So you don't know that they are your killers. I'm telling you. I don't sometimes some nasty I or what self is it? Are we are you the train those or what? We see players, world players. Oh, I cannot understand. You see what they are doing. When, whenever you touch, for example, as we are talking about religion, you will see people call, hey, there is a way they work. This is politics. They will be killing you in wholesale, wholesale killing, sponsoring your killing. Now they will use it in order to deceive you, to make you love them, love your killers. Uh, one or two people, one or uh, uh, non governmental organization, they will allow them to be bringing you food. Do you see how they work? So that you will say, hey, knife, no be them. Hey, we are, but they, they are your killers. You don't know. The more you look, the less you see. We need, that is why we need to be sophisticated in our head. We need to be highly sophisticated in thinking, in reasoning. Not straightforward. This world is not straightforward. It's the more you look, the less you see. So we must be accustomed to the politics of this world. What matters in this world is interest. And you that is suffering, you must rise up and play your own politics. That is the word. You must rise up as not as an individual, because individually you can't do nothing. As a group, as a nation, support what we are doing. Support whatever that we are doing. This IPOB, we are championing this fight. That is where that is, is the truth that is glaring in our eyes. Support what we are doing. Look at what 
what they put, uh, uh, they, they ban, Google bans Pan African media organization over alleged link to Russia to make people run away from, from Russia. So that you become, they are, they are the only way, the truth and the life. As your religion tells you. You want to say it's the only way. It's the only way. That is how they work. You don't know that is how they work. No multipolarism. Everything is uni. Uni, they, hum, they monopolize. They fall and they monopolize. They don't care. That is it. Pan African Digital Media Organization, African Stream has accused Google of censorship after the American tech giant locked it out of the Gmail workspace. That's it. That's it. Now, you'll be defending yourself. No, I don't have link with Russia. But these are the people that are preaching democracy. What is democracy? Majority rule. Democracy is people's allowing people to have choice. Multiplicity. Is it not? Then why? Why? Why do they, why they don't allow you to have your, make your choice as a human being? No, they direct you, no. Their enemy must be your enemy. Their enemy must be your enemy. That's why uh, 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 Mandela, Madiba Mandela, looked them in the face in America and told them, look, the worst mistake America is making is thinking that their enemy must be our enemy. When ANC was for fighting, for survival, against apartheid, Palestine was helping them, even training their militia men, helping them in, in every boat, money, every, anyhow. We are as uh, Israel is, uh, is, is staunchly supporting the apartheid regime. Even try to help them to develop new nuclear weapons to, to nuke the whole, destroy the whole black people. Man, learning this UG, learning the Hannah support. Chai! When Mandela went to New York, they questioned him, oh, you, you say you're a democrat, champion democracy. Why are you supporting PLO as a terrorist organization? Don't you know it's a terrorist? 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 Even how to talk to terrorists. Whereas, oh, how would the number one terrorist of the world? Mandela tell them, uh, and uh, let me tell you, uh, this, do you see the stance of South Africa today? It, it right from uh, apartheid regime. When they declared, they declared the ANC a, a terrorist organization. They declared Mandela a terrorist. Do you know that? Declared him a terrorist. Fighting for your freedom. They declare him a terrorist. So that, you know, they support an uh, uh, apartheid regime against black people. Now, when, after, when you get your, this in you, now, you, you, because uh, you were America, now let us uh, reject the people that, Ndimenaika, I didn't know. Now we, we support, we, we leave them, because they are your enemies. This world, there is no sentiment. You have to stand together with them and engage in the right politics. That is it. That is it. But our people, they, our people don't understand politics. They thought that this world is straightforward. Oh, it's the same religion. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, we are all brothers. Oh, yeah, God of Israel is, uh, now we are the same. Iwo, eh? Iwo, Iwo, Iwo. Even there, they are laughing. They are laughing at you. Let us call a spade a spade. Let me finish playing this. Yeah, then I'll open the lines. Conservatives tell us it's a dangerous world. Our enemies have to die so we can be safe and secure. Some of them say, I'm sorry about that, but that's the way the world is. We have to accept this reality. So you We have to accept this reality. That is the, how the world is. Let me bring back the other. What, what he said. The fighting. So you began to analyze these figures to figure out who, who, who are these six million people we've killed. And again, that's a minimum figure. The conservatives tell us it's a dangerous world. Our enemies have to... It's a dangerous world. He said the conservatives tell us we are living in a dangerous world. Our enemies have to die 
so that we can be powerful. Die so we can be safe and secure. Uh -huh, to be safe and secure. Some of them say, I'm sorry about that, but that's the way the world is. We have to accept this reality. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. That is how the world is. We have to say, people, are that, people that eat and feel like you, they have to die so that we can feel safe and secure. So that you can be powerful. That is, that is the rule of the world. I don't, doubt, I don't argue that. That is the truth. We must walk ourselves into being powerful. That is the most important thing. We should not be sheepish. We should not be following sheepishly. Openly. No. We have to chat our own path and do our own thing. And that is what we are doing. So you begin to study these things and rip through them and analyze them and break them apart and you find some shocking common denominators come out to you. Namely, for example, since 1954 we do not parachute teams into the Soviet Union to destabilize the country in a brutal way. Coincidentally, 1954 was the first year the Soviets developed their actual capability of actually dropping atomic weapons on the United States. Uh, for other reasons, we don't do these things in England, France, Sweden, Norway, Belgium, Switzerland, etc. These things are all done in countries of the third world where the governments don't have the power to force the United States to stop destabilizing the country and brutalizing their people. These six million people killed are people of the Mitumba Mountains of the Congo and the jungles of Southeast Asia and the hills of northern Nicaragua. Conspicuously, they're people who don't have ICBMs or armies or navies. They don't have any capability of doing physical hurt to the United States. The 22,000 killed in Nicaragua, for example, they're conspicuously not Russians. They're not Cuban soldiers or advisors. They're not even percentage-wise mostly Sandinistas. They're mostly rag-poor peasants, including a high percentage of women and children. Communists? I'm sorry, they're mostly Roman Catholics. Enemies of the United States? I can't give you that one either because we have all these witnesses who've gone down to live in their villages with them and they invariably come back to testify that the Nicaraguans are the warmest people on the face of the earth and they love people from the United States and they simply cannot understand why we would want, our leaders would want to rationalize spending a billion dollars on a contra force to go into their villages to kill them and mutilate them while their families are forced to watch. That is it. The man concluded, he said, the people, they, they sponsor their killings, their memings, their exterminations, are people that are powerless, people that does not even pose any, any threat against the United States. The people that can drop bomb, like the Soviet Union, as of that time, 1954, he gave example, like France, like other no, the people that have capability, they they don't they will not do all this type of thing. They are poor people that they can go and uh, like Haiti. Look at what is happening in Haiti. They take their you know they impoverish them since independence as black people, and they take their meteorite, their their rear heads in Haiti. America have been harvesting free of charge with all these confusions. Is the world we are living. We need to come in terms with this world. If you know all these things, you must join hands together with IPOB. Support IPOB in order for us to restore ourselves, to restore our nation. So that we build a system. A system that can be formidable. A system where people, everybody, have the capability of thriving. A system that can now bring up, make our talents to to sprout out like plants to germinate like plants because in nigeria nothing what are you going to do you know ordinary electricity in nigeria do you know what electricity lack of electricity is preventing in nigeria do you know lack of job being caused by lack of electricity if you have money to invest on something for example little money you want to use uh, to start up one business you will first of all, you, another burden will be how will you get electricity and be fueling it? 
Do you, do you see? Ordinary weather, weather, wedding job. You buy your generator. How many? How many? How many people can do that? You see, they made us obsolete. In Nigeria, we are obs completely obsolete, completely useless as a people. They made us useless. All our all our talents without a system, you cannot you cannot boost. Or your talents will die with you. It's just like all these footballers, African footballers. Why why they shine mostly in Europe? Where because there is a system that brings them up. You see them. You go Eto Eto of Cameroon. Today I think he's the minister of uh, is it minister of sports in their place or football uh, this thing. I don't know. A very big footballer. He shined because he was put into the garden, the right garden, where his talent now germinates. There are many, many, even more than him in Africa, that their talents are dead. Why? Because there is no, no conducive environment. No favorable environment. It's just like you go to, you say, ah, you're a farmer, you are farming. You go and uh, uh, carry uh, this thing, um, uh, maize seedlings and just spread in the bush without clearing the bush that you spread it some of them can grow immediately other weeds will kill them some of them as you are putting the other animals we go and use them okay because it's not conducive for them these are these are cons that would have germinated normally had it been you put them in a very nice conducive environment they germinate and do well they made Africa a so that before I'm giving an example as footballer, before you can shine, you you stay in Europe. Do you see one thing? There is something I see like in this football. Sometimes I see Nigerians making mouth in in uh, uh, social media on football. Oh, you see, this Nozime he is receiving so, so so amount of money. Oh, how they will be calling Nigerian player receiving millions of dollars in uh, Europe. When they compare it to South Africa, they say South Africa, sir, no, they don't have player. Oh, they, 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 they don't know that South Africa. How many of them are in Europe? How many South African footballers are in Europe? Very few, if there is any self. They are gradually and painstakingly building their, their system. You building up their football system. You see Nigerians playing in South Africa. Oh, China Kekuna. And you be helping them. You don't know. Even like in North Africa. Like in North Africa. They are building their, their football leagues to standard. Before you know, maybe in the next 30 years, they will be competing. I mean, their, their clubs, their national leagues will be competing with uh, even other international uh, this thing like Europe. But you, now what you count as individual player, oh, you have to go to Europe to shine. Because you don't know that you are more, you, 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 you are nothing. Nothing. While others are trying to build, no matter how hard they are building it, little by little. You, you are making mouth oh, that uh, no, uh, you can, you have Osimehe playing. They are paying him. So, so you look at how he's called it. In another people's system, why can't he play and be somebody in your own system? You see how bad it is. And the mentality of our people, very, very bad. That they don't think in this way. We must continue anyway. Um, let me just read one other news headline uh, in this Ohanes and Debo. Ohanes and Debo. How many times he called them? These are these are puppets. Remember. Let me see. You know, we are they are begging. Okay. Let me bring it out. Let me read the news headline before. I open the line. Grant Nam the kind of political pardon for Nigeria's independence anniversary. Oh, and as indeed we tell Stinibu, when they are the mature in Higua Gizoku, I'm going to this people. You are granting, you are, they are begging. 
grander than they can. You know, how do you think? Just tell me, a beggar. Do you see a beggar in Nigeria that is living well? Every time you see him, he's living a miserable life because he's a beggar. People move out and give them, give, you give a beggar just what you don't, mostly what you don't even need. One coins, one fifty naira, one ten naira. You're a beggar because you don't need it again. Oh no, you have stayed long there, you give it. That's what a beggar gets. And he continues living miserable lives. This is what Ohane Zendibu is. The, the mentality they are pushing into us that we must beg in Nigeria. You must, why are you begging? We have been blastering them. Stop begging Nigerian government for Mazen Amdekano. Mazen Amdekano committed no crime. Are you hearing me? Stop begging. This begging makes they see us as a, you know, uh, miserable beggars. Miserable human beings. We can't go nowhere with it. Begging. Mazin Namde Kano committed no crime. He is there. And he's a freedom fighter. So, it is not about begging. You can never beg your way out. Don't you see how... Uh, uh, 20, where is Igbo presidency 2023? Didn't they beg? They cried. They begged. Uh, give us even uh, the, I think uh, there somebody uh, one Igbo old man said that time even if he needs me let me lie down flat in the ground to beg Yoruba beg Aosa please leave us leave give Igbo presidency what what are you going even if they give it to you what are you going to do with it they frustrate you because he's under begging you'll be under contract look at how you are going to do look at how you are going to do look at what you are going and and you are, you do it. If you don't do it, you go, they will frustrate you to the extent the people will stone you. So there is in this world, if you continue begging, you live you a slave. It's only slaves that beg. When it comes to political stand, you must fight your way out. That is the reality of the world. This Ohane Zendibo, I don't know. Uh, sometimes. Uh, they will say what uh, elders see on there. Oh, no, let me let me not look at because they are not elders. They are just old people. Because foolish people also grow old. Foolish people also grows old. Uh, what uh, old people sit down or see uh, now? Uh, younger people uh, they cannot see it even climbing the rock tree. Now sometimes I I ask, why not have your tonya tires on here now? What makes them always begging? What? Uh, has Iwanya not gone? Was he not an elder? Was he not an elder? Or oh, old man? Wasn't he the person? He's one of the main person that brought the hope to them to Imo State. Because I could remember. When uh, Emeki Hedioha wanted to, was objecting, he cautioned Emeki, Emeki, Emeki Hedioha when they removed him. He cautioned him, he said, go, go and keep quiet, otherwise you become a political leper. I will never forget this statement. And it's a pity that I didn't bring Mazi uh, Wanyang on radio Biafra because of the ban on uh, for him to speak on radio by the leadership. Otherwise, I talked with him privately and he was ready to come on air. I told him I wanted to embarrass him. I wanted to embarrass him on air. You know, he's gone. That's why I'm saying this, or you revealing it, or even he's gone. I would have asked him, oh God, that time oh, you tell her, look at what you the, uh, what you brought in Imo State. Because you are the first, you are the, one of the people that uh, uh, brought uh, 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 this guy, okay, okay, in Imo State. How will you defend it? I want to hear what he would have said. Today he's gone, he's no more. But the the, the evil legacy he lived, he left. Is haunting every one of us and our future generations. Don't you see that? Don't you see that? All the time begging. Where is Igbo presidency 2023? Now, you know, they are, 2027, they will come and with another format. No, it's now, now, time is this. And 
and there and there are two corny on a cool two. A man more, hey, and now a queen so a queen so become my eye, my guy, a queen so why not every time now you queen so bar because oh, 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 I am make a go. It was his you. A queen so poor, your cock one, nail cock one, your cony on a guy, be a walk by election as a great election as. Where is Igbo presidency 2023? They beg, beg, beg to the extent they killed our people for it. How many thousands of our youths, of our people, they killed because of election, because of Igbo presidency 2023? Today, none of them talk about it. And they thought that we forget. They beg. Every time they were begging, oh, we beg, give us. Don't worry. They, they told them, kill your people. Look at the, where is Nine Wood? Nine wood that went and started singing praises of Yetsumike uh, for killing, destroying the lives of people, making people uh, uh, fatherless and motherless in uh, Obibo. He went there and started praising him just for Igbo presidency, for him to, oh, uh, there, these people. I suppose, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Let me stop. Say granting them the kind of political pardon for Nigeria's independence. Is he a criminal that you are granting pardon? Did he commit any offense that you are grand you are begging for pardon? Everything you are begging. These people normally if they don't know what to talk, let them just keep quiet. It's better they keep quiet so that they don't they don't embarrass us. They continue embarrassing us. Sometime I say I wanted to I wanted to ask uh, uh, let uh, Emmanuel Iwanya one did you be able to say what is that thing you people um, do, um, do, can you, um, the, the Meragadi? what are those things that you are seeing every time you are begging in Nigeria please tell us can you tell us so that every time you see that there is nothing they are just going there for their own is for their own private interest nothing more because as I said the other day, the same way you are doing your uh, buying and selling private uh, as an Igbo man, open your shop, that is the same way these politicians, that is, their politics is the same thing, is business, their own private business, the way they are making ends meet, like you, doing, or like all each and every one of us, doing your work or doing your business, that is the same thing, to feed your family. They are doing their politics to feed their family, to live extra large, that is the only thing, individualism. No, it has nothing to do with our collective interest. Nothing, nothing. No agenda. It, I, there is no collective agenda of Igbo people since after the war. It is only IPOB that came and break, broke the, 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 the bone. It's only IPOB. That is what Mazen and the Kano have done. Organizing us to have common focus, common ideology, common program. Different from what we, we, we are programmed to be, individualistic. A people sentenced to individual hustle is a people going into extinction. Do you hear me? That is the truth. These uh, European Jews that are uh, today in um, uh, the Israel, you are hearing. They were, having, they were like that. Selfish, all of them. Uh, this uh, uh, every part of Europe, they food there, they do their business, do doing their things. They were progressing, but they were always targeted because Europeans don't see them as Europeans. They see them as Jews, that they cannot bend them. They have their own ideology. Are you hearing me? Why don't you ask yourself when they were looking for a country? Why didn't Europe give them? one place in in one european land and say okay uh you stay there you don't have problem and they allow them to go where they there will be problem till thy kingdom come this is a is a food for thought for you make research and find out why why didn't they give them any piece of land in any part of even in eastern europe western europe southern europe eastern anywhere say oh yeah go uh, you, you people have suffered. Instead, they export them. First of all, they try to export them to Africa. Do you know that? They contemplated sending them to Africa so that in uh, 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 between Kenya and Uganda, Uganda, Kenya, 
Do you know that? But they know that it will be more catastrophic because they say, ah, how come it will be conspicuous that the land is not, is not theirs? Because how come these people are white and we are black? They come to take our land. They didn't give, they didn't remove one piece of land in Europe and say, okay, we want to manage you here. Take it as your country, no problem. This food for thought. Go and make your researches. I won't hear any like I go 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 and make your researches and find out. This is where I'm going to stop. I will go into a few minutes break, and when I come back, I will open the lines so that people can stop calling. Can start calling. Can start calling. Please. Do not go away. I'll be right back. To not now as a traditional ruler to be drinking beer in pop of any of the state indigenous going to the north to be creating nuisance. Can I go to Ogun State now? Can I go to north now as a traditional ruler to be drinking beer in public and Oguguru? Tell me what will happen. Everybody keeps talking as if we don't like Fulanis. No, they are also Nigerians, but their fundamental rights does not imply them coming to be killing people in their land. We are becoming a slave in our land. And this is right time. We need to let the government know that if the government refuses to do what is right, then people will be, should be able, don't blame anybody to take weapons and defend himself. Because in our constitution, there is self-defense. One, nobody has your interests. Two, everybody is chasing their interests. In politics, you must understand the following. One, nobody has your interests. Two, everybody is chasing their interests. Three, dealing with politicians is like sleeping with tigers. You must always have your eyes wide open. Four, and this is one of my favorites. In any political equation, there's always someone being used. If you look around and you can't find that person, then it is you. <laughs> Five, serving politicians is like a bandage on a wound. Once the wound is healed, your usefulness ends. Six, in politics, never will more than the bereaved. They will get the reward while you inherit their enemies. Seven, in politics, in any event, if other interests conflict with your interests and you have to choose, always choose yours. Number eight, never cross oceans for politicians. You may drown. And it goes on and on. Three, dealing with politicians is like...
so that Nigerians can understand the voices of millions of Igbo cannot be heard, so that Nigerians can understand the degree to which secession by the Igbo represents their popular choice. Nigeria has had to fight two terrible wars to preserve, a terrible war to preserve the country. The North has paid its dues in that war, and indeed in many ways throughout the history of our country. Under our current circumstances, no Nigerian should welcome another war to keep this country together. The North in particular has more than enough challenges and we recognize that violent secession by any part of Nigeria will compound the problems of all Nigerians under which we live. The forum has arrived at the difficult conclusion that if support for secession among the Igbo is as widespread as it is being made to look, and Igbo leadership appears to be in support of it, then the country should be advised not to stand in its way. It will not be in the interest, it will not be the best choice for the Igbo or Nigerians to leave a country we have all toiled to build and a country we all have responsibility to fix. But it will not help a country already burdened with failures on its knees to fight another war to keep the Igbo in Nigeria. The voices of millions of Igbo cannot be heard. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Mars Jonathan Chiredu from Alu Province of Biafra London. We are here live and direct. Today is the second day of October 2024. Tata Bo Boturi. Our lines are now opened. Our direct line as usual is plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. Our Direct line, I repeat once more, plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus six, one, four, zero, five, one, four, two, five, four, seven. I repeat, WhatsApp and signal line plus six, one, four, zero, five, one, four, two, five, four, seven. You can call us now and give us your view on issues at hand, issues discussed. Um, there is even one, you can call us just as, let me see, let me see, caller on direct line, let me just pick you. Caller on direct line, you are the first caller, can you hear me please? Call on direct line. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. No, you dropped the line. Why? You dropped the line. Um, there is there is this headline which I forgot to even. Uh, there is this headline about about the Hizba of the North. Call on direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. Can you hear me? Please go on. Caller on direct line. Once again, I don't know why are you on movement. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There is this. Uh, let me see. We are. You can be calling, eh, please. If you have anything to contribute, you call. Um, there is this news headline which I want to also bring to the limelight about, yes, yes. It says, Kano Hizba, Kano Hizba, Kano, Kano State Hizba. That is, you know, it's a Hizba police. Bans sports betting, sets new rule on courtship, night move movement for women. Do you see this in northern Nigeria? When we are talking about Biafra restoration, 
they are doing their own thing they are restoring their own they are living their own a country in a country but people don't know <laughs> i am telling you honestly people don't know they make rules you know but they they want us to live on it's only we that is shouting one nigeria one nigeria let me pick this call on direct line can you hear me caller on direct line i don't know please if you are calling uh, i don't know remove you are if you are driving or if you are calling you are bluetooth remove it talk to the phone direct otherwise you'll be you continue interrupting this line please you call you go off so what am i trying to say Kano his bands sports betting sets new rule on courtship if you do all these things in our land, they will, they will challenge, they say, no, this is Nigeria, one Nigeria. No, 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 it's Nigeria. It's them that will come to tell us how to live in our land. They want us to live under one Nigeria, but, but uh, you, they, don't, they don't do it in, in their own land. They, they have their rule. They have a Hizba police. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Ma, as a police, I will, I will not pick your call again. Are you trying to dis disturb this line? I don't know. So, it's only our people. Nigeria, Nigeria. How much are they going to call? It is October second. Today's news. Today's today. Today, October second, twenty twenty-four. The Kano State Hizba Board has announced a ban on all forms of sports betting in the state you know they are born you, you know that is their life call on direct line can you hear me i will not pick this call again don't try call again i will not pick you call four times you don't and this direct line so our lines are open as i said you can call in please our uh, direct line our whatsapp and signal line so as i was saying they are living under sharia which is a different country different state altogether but in our land let me tell you i want you see we we be our friends ipob we should start making our direct laws. I'm telling you. They have a Hizba police. But when we talk about ESN, they, they, if even our own people, our own people that are being used to fight against ESN, to fight against anything that concerns us, but they have their Hizba police, they are making their own laws, they are living their own lives, that is even over they don't care about nigerian law but whenever it comes to our own thing we want to do at least regulate our own life they say no well in nigeria is for everybody this and that imagine you cannot you cannot drink a, a beer alcohol in Kano. imagine imagine but when we tell them that look you or even you are you are animals the animals you are bringing you are using it to destroy our land stop rolling around in the afternoon i mean or you, uh, you have a place stay one place to graze it they say no this is nigeria everybody must they don't they don't care to respect whatever we respect whatever that is is our, you know that is sacred to us they don't care that they invoke imagine that is us let us reverse it that is us that say no drinking of alcohol and they are drinking it they will say no it's all it's one nigeria every beer there must be beer there must be alcohol but when they say it they will you know they will always uh, 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 go towards what they say they will implement it with their own Hizba police but they don't want us to do it the thing, our own thing. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, dear friends, we must find a way of making our own laws subtly, one by one. The problem we are having is all this, 
so-called politicians. They are the first, you know, they will come in order to destroy what we are doing and say, no, 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 it's Nigeria, Nigeria. They will have all the time, they will invoke Nigeria law, Nigeria, Nigeria. But his police is doing their own thing. Caller on signal, please. Go on. Welcome to the program. Caller on signal. Caller on signal. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah, please. My location. Yeah, well. I remember this semester now, but calling from coastal region of Biafra, a quite one precisely. Uh, Professor Jonas, uh, we cannot discuss our problem without um, discussing the effect of the war on us. And uh, that is why I personally keep emphasizing on what the war caused on us. And uh, while talking about the war, I will particularly make inferences about the sabotage, the betrayals. And the reason being that uh, these uh, very people that betray us were not punished. Today, the Eastern politicians are at competition on who will betray the people the most. I mean the Biafra politicians. All of them are in competition on who will betray and they say their people the most so that they will be rewarded the way they were rewarded if, by the way the people who betray us during the genocidal war were rewarded. And then you are seeing it that they are happening. And uh, that is why when you watch the activities of the Eastern politicians today, you will understand that uh, instead of instead of diving in quantities of uh, preservation, self-preservation, they are more of playing quantities of self-destruction. Unlike what is happening in the western part of uh, the Zuko, Nigeria, and the northern part of Zuko, Nigeria, where their politicians are predominantly interested in politics of self-preservation. So, what am I saying? What I'm saying is, we must have to find a way to punish betrayers so that they will serve as, that we serve as example and deterrent that people will look upon and they, when they remember the price for treachery and the betrayer, they will also think twice. It is one thing that I am telling us, reminding the leadership that we should try to match out action plans that we should activate to make sure that all these bunches of traitors in the corridor of Nigeria politics are being punished. The other side I want to talk is about international politics. And I want us to understand that the international politics is all about international um, interest. There is nothing like uh, international relation and international dialogue. We cannot talk about dialogue or election without talking about interest. And the you as a race who devalue your personal human value system, they will understand that you have succumbed to uh, intimidation in total to submission. And then you will never find your feet in the affairs of the world. That is why in this IPOB, even if we are dying, let us die with semblance of human dignity. And uh, when it happens like that, the world will respect you because they would understand that you are a human being and no human indifference. That is the message I'm giving to our people. Fight, freedom fighting is not, it doesn't recognize the emotion and the sentiment. It is anchored on the cardinal principle of command and control. If they say move, if the driver say move, move. If the driver say stop, you stop. There is nothing like you are practicing democracy in freedom fighting. This is what our people must have to get into their psyche this very light and the more the the, the earlier we understand it 
the better it will also help in us in our quest for Biafra reflection. But as for Biafra, we go no way, Professor Jonathan, because it is our religion, it is our identity, it is our heritage, and this message of freedom must continually be preached to the humanity that Biafrans, regardless of the world do, regardless of the world do, regardless of what the enemies do, Biafra must come to be in and have their stake in the world of our face. We fight for Biafra and we must continue to preach this um, gospel of freedom. Thank you, Professor Jonathan. Continue the good work. May Chuko Kikabia bless you. Oh, hey, Biafra. Almost, hey, Biafra. There we Thank you very much. Caller on the red line. Can you hear me? Caller on the red line. Are you still there? No. I think he has dropped. Well, we must continue. Yes. Uh, we must continue doing what we are doing. In international politics, in the world of politics, there is nothing like pity. There is nothing like love or hate. It's only interest that matters. That is what is considered. Nothing more. Can you, what can you bring to the table? That is what matters. Caller on, let me see. Caller on um, signal. Can you hear me? Go on, please. Caller on signal. Can you hear me? Yes. Mazi, Professor John. Yes. Um, how are you? We are good. I'm good. There we are. And you too. Uh, what I mean to be to focus on there are and I pray for him to rise the grace. Ma, Ma, see, your voice used to enter inside like muffled and come out and go in and come out and go in. I don't know. Keep the, keep no, the telephone steady. The, I, yeah, I say keep it steady on your mouth. Keep it steady to your mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. So, as I said, I said, I pray that. We continue to give you and all those who are in the helps of our call with the restoration project and struggle with grace and wisdom and all that is necessary to continue pushing until our freedom comes. I really, really admire you a lot. I know somehow you have a lot of responsibility. Or whichever way you can squeeze out this time to give us this awareness and clear knowledge. This one plus one equals to two knowledge. This common sense is not common type of knowledge. Almighty will continue to bless you. Yes, uh, after now, I want to talk about what I'm just one or two things I would have loved, I would love to discuss. And in, in, because uh, I wasn't able to join your program, um, but I picked one of two things which I would like to respond to. And it has to do with you understand your phone that this word is different. Is it your phone that is, I don't know. Uh, sometimes he, No, he, my phone is stationary. No, uh, there is a way it's sounding sometimes. It's sounding muffled, something like muffled. After it come out, after it become muffled, I don't know why. But just you continue, know, continue. You know, uh, the, the, the part of the, I mean, I mean, a place where we have different, wide, unchained, hungry animals. So, okay. you understand how that's going okay. to be. Okay, sometimes. okay, go on, go on, go on. So, please, with me. so uh, as I was saying, I would like to add one or two things based on the place I put something you said that this world is wicked. So, and one or two other things. But I want to stop that. There is some, one time you made program, I called in, and uh, I was fortunate enough to get audience. And I told you that life is the way you see it, from any minute element to the universe, or anyhow you want to see it. 
system. And that system is you, you as a person or you as a people is the only one that has the right to keep give yourself the standard and organization you need. Anything that goes away from you as a person or you as a people, what you have is a jungle. Anything that goes away from you as a person or you as a people, guys, I'm talking about a unit. What you have is a jungle. And in a jungle, the stronger takes it all. So forget anything they teach you in your church or in political science or anywhere. The first thing that it is only you as a person or you as a people that have the right to organize yourself and do your thing in an orderly or organized pattern. Anything that goes beyond that is the strongest take it all. You that have the power to have this all. So you, we, you shouldn't feel bad when you are weak. What you should do is you as a person, if you now organize yourself to be strong, or you as a people need to organize yourself to be strong, so that you will become part of the lion, part of the tigers, part of the hyenas, and not to be the, the antelopes, the rats, and the because that is how nature is. Even in the world of plants, when you plant I mean, uh, plant, uh, uh, what do you call it, your plant, if you don't go and weed out all those ones, they will pray and dot your innocent pot and they will devour it. So it is you that will now go and organize it in such a way that it will not be prayed. So that is the way nature works. Thank you. Let me stop here for now. There were, there were. Thank you very much. Of course, that's it. What you said, you said it all. Another thing is, even when you are trying to organize, there are some external forces that will try to be disorganizing you. So you con that is where resilience enters. You continue fighting to organize. You continue resisting. Because as I played the clip, this world is, a, is the world, life is a war. <laughs> you don't give up. If you say, ah, no, now wow, you become overwhelmed by the forces. Uh, which means you give up. And you live like a, like a servant or a slave. That is it. So, sometimes you, you have the you have the capability even sometimes you can you can feel to be overwhelmed, but you don't stop because you continue fighting. Caller on the red line, can you hear me? Mazi. What is happening to my direct line today? It's cutting people are calling after a cut. After it drops. Caller on dry on direct line, can you hear me? Caller on direct line. I know him. Caller on direct line. Ma, is it you? I know him. No. 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 I don't know what is happening. Caller on signal. Call on, yes, my brother, I'm there hearing you. There, we'll go on, please, go on. Uh, it's, it's sounding very far, but are you hearing me? I'm not hearing yes, yes, the whole world is hearing you. Please go on, go on. Okay, thank you. Good evening, dear friends and lovers of freedom. Uh, my name is Ifan Chukumada Abuchi, and I'm reaching you from the Netherlands. You know, my brother, what you said about uh, being strong, tenacious, uncompromising, and ruthless in order to stay alive even, achieve our goals, 
develop and advance. We don't have to prove to anybody that we are nice. We believe in live and let live. We believe in individual ownership of land and property or properties by acquisition that is purchased and or inheritance. And if anybody or people want to take or drink what is yours or ours, you and or we must fight and fight for it until we get justice and equity. You know, one of our uh, problems is um, effort and addiction to be and, uh, and be seen as uh, peaceful. Sure, we are peaceful and loving, but our starting point must be justice and equity. Peace, love, and nicety will be a byproduct of justice and equity. Like you said, my brother Jonathan, we should be neutral. I'm I'm going to the you know international politics now. We should be neutral in the case of the war between Israelis and Palestinians. And if you support two state solution, you are not biased or partial. It's still uh, uh, on that neutrality. And even even American, European, Israeli politicians and their allies all support two-state uh, solution. It remains implementation of policies to achieve the same. And if you oppose mass and indiscriminate killing and slaughter of civilians on both sides, you are, first of all, human. And you're right. You know, some of us, as she's suffering from religious conditioning and brainwashing. Oh, these are God's children. The others are not. This is quite wrong. All human beings are the same human family, created by the same God or Mother Nature, whatever you believe. You see, <laughs> there's uh, something you, you treat, uh, we are treating in this radio Biafra, it was about two days ago or so, you know, about um, Nigerian uh, Senate or legislators rejecting regionalism of or, or regionalization of Nigeria. Just imagine a country reject a proposal to be like uh, Dubai, uh, the Arab Emirates, United Arab Emirates. Because when they go to Dubai and buy houses and go on vacation, they refuse that uh, Dubai is a part of the United Arab Emirates. It's a part of a union of Emirates. They are peaceful. The country is peaceful. It's developed. It's advancing. Yeah, and so um, people are given a choice to be like that. Oh, no, if you do it, you will give Ibos uh, Biafra. So you reject development, peace, peacefulness, and advancement, and technology, and infrastructure. But because uh, uh, you want to uh, not give Biafrans what they want, you 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 want to go on with 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 unworkable, in, irreconcil uh, irreconcilable, irredeemable, and morose contraption. And you say, oh, you don't want to. Go. Remember, remember that Denmark, mm, uh, Sweden, Norway, and Iceland was uh, a country ruled by Denmark. It was Denmark. It was Danish kingdom. But Denmark gave these people independence in spite of the 
places that we are in the in the Norway and the other places, they they must okay be independent so that we remain in peace as Scandinavian people. Remember that Dutch, the Netherlands, and Belgium, and Luxembourg were one country before they were divided for peace and development. So why is Nigerians so-called, oh, that's why we and I call those people fake patriots because they never work for the interests of the country, nor for the interests of the people. They neither love the country, nor do they love the people. All they love, they have stomach infrastructure politicians what they love is what we go into their stomach and into their bag and into their pockets. And so that is why we, dear friends, we must have a change of mindset to focus on Biafra, support the uh, uh, Directorate of State of IPOB. They are our cabinet, they are our, our cabinet, support the Eastern Security Network that is guarding our homeland. Join Biafra movement, join IPOB, so that we will join hands together and restore Biafra. God bless Biafra. Thank you, my brother. Good night. There were, there were, Mazi. Of course, that's it. You gave a very good analogy of Dubai. When you talk about Dubai, people don't know. Many people thought that Dubai is a country. <phone rings> Many people. They think, they are thinking that Dubai is a country. Dubai is not a country. Dubai is just a region. A region. In United Arab Emirates. But they are on, they are on, on you know, uh, federal, feder they are federated in it. So that anybody, either Dubai, the other, um, what do you call it? Is this um, um, Abu Dhabi. Yeah, Abu Dhabi is another. Let them develop in their own way, the weak center, and that is why Dubai is doing well. Had it been, they have a very strong center. Uh, Dubai wouldn't have been shining. The other other places would have been drawing it down, saying, "No, the way you are going to go, no, no don't open up. It's not like that." So they would have been locked up in, you know, going down. That is that is it. Well, when you uh, uh, they they brought it up in the in the case of Nigeria, they said no. If we do it, which means Biafra, they are, they are afraid of Igbos. I don't know this type of fear. They are afraid that oh, we will give Igbos Biafra. They will they will they will develop more than any other place. I don't no no. That is what they don't want. They don't want. They thought that they are holding us. They are holding everybody. Onye jimatana la juwanya. Call her on. Signal, please go on. I don't know what happened to my WhatsApp today. I think you'll be the last caller. People are not calling on WhatsApp. Go on, call on Signal. Go on. Uh, I, I hope I'm coming. I'm coming out, sir. You are coming out, clear. Go on. Please don't mind where I am. I'm just on the way. Marzi, may God bless you for your program. We must continue, Marzi. Marzi, I want to talk about this one on the Zendoshi that's trying to. Uh, make themselves relevant. They are trying to, you know, uh, tell, tell uh, this uh, Uncle Google that uh, that uh, we are we are we are the people that uh, that they need to be condemned. Mas, it is time for we to show these people that not going to matter what they will not. This one is indeed. It is time for we to let them know that uh, enough is enough trying to use our head and drink Gary. Mas, we can never allow that such to continue happening because our leader is innocent. Our leader was extraordinary in the rendition and the, and the, and the kidnap by the... And the, which we know that the ordinary, ordinary rendition is a crime. It's a crime in international law, which Nigeria is a secret to. So we can never allow that sort of thing to happen. And as Ndibu must, 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 
must, you know, reshape and also take the just but all hang on, then we take their drugs, let them go and carry their clothes with them back because we can never allow them. This time around, we have determined to restore the kingdom of God on earth. <clears throat> As you see, what I, I watched one video this evening where this I, I describe it as an African leaders who is selfishness try to acquire wealth and make themselves to become a king on their own selfish interest. Maze, I weep when I see the, this video, this one president, one African president, build a mansion, build everything on, only for himself and his family and let other people die. Maze, that is the mentality of African leaders. And that to say, if, if there is anywhere, if there is any kingdom, maybe people may assume when you die, you will go there. These African leaders, then we, then we, then we find all the homies to go there and acquire all the whole world. Then we find means to go there and acquire all the whole world. Man, as you look at this canoe, this canoe uh, uh, has banner, the way they call them. Man, as you, our people, our people are still sleeping. Our people are still sleeping, and it is time for we to implement whatever is the rule or the law that which we want to guide our people time for we to take it or because you can go to north and you see them drinking beer you can go to north maybe uh, you are sweating it's okay let me wear singlet and come out for your domot or your uh, front of your yard and sit all those you can't do it here in the north they use their they use their sharia law and everything to, to to stop you, even to take you, without taking you to police, they will take you to their Sharia prison, Sharia law, and they freeze you there. Mas, what are we? What 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 am what am I saying? Mas, we can never continue like this. These politicians, yes, they see this contraction as a business, and that is why, that is why these politicians always see everything they do in this country as a business. Only business for themselves, for their family. Other people go to hell, go and die. That is only what they know because they, they see politics as a business of their family. And that is why they can do anything to, 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 to secure and they get, go into that, that business of their selfish interest to acquire wealth only for themselves and their family. Other people, they, they, they don't care about you. As I want to use this opportunity to tell our people the time is now. Support the leadership. Support the leadership. Support the leadership. Because our people can never wake up until when the thing is in, in their doorstep. When the thing is about to consume them, that is when then we start looking for solution. This is the time for you to support the leadership of IPOB. For, for leadership to do and manifest everything necessary for you to get up from this construction called Nigeria before it is too late for us. Mazi, but we, under the leadership, I feel we have signed, we have determined whether good or bad, whether, whether rain is falling, whether sun is, is shining, whether everything is turning upside down. Mazi, we have determined that this kingdom of God on earth called Biafra must come to stay. No going back, whether they like it or not. Mazi, may God bless you. Thank you for your good work. There good night, Mazi, from here. There were. Good there night. Were. I don't know my direct line, what happened, and even my what's up. But this is where I'm going to stop. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, we continue. Just as our brother say, in what is happening, we have no side to take. We are neutral. But we are making, we are watching and making use of our brains. That is the thing. We should understand let me hint it again. In this world, it is a brutal world where you have to fight out. So you fight for your own right. Fight. Life is about fighting. There is no pity. You, you know, it's about collective interest. Wise people are collective. That's why Japan, in their education, our educational system, 
the way they program their educational system, it is they teach their children right from kindergarten about teamwork, not individualism, about teamwork, teamwork, working in group. Individually, you can't get nowhere. But uh, collectively, that is Igwebike. And that is where we stand. That is why IPOB is here. We must continue supporting our leader, supporting this struggle, making sure, because the more we support the struggle, we are supporting Mazin Amdekano. I am telling you. Because Igwebike, the reason why Mazin Amdekano is there, suffering today, is because of IPOB. It's not because he's in Mazin Amdekano, no. So, it's our collectivity. Don't mind what uh, and D boys are begging. They thought that everything is about begging. Being there. No, we beg. You cannot beg and get something good. A beggar he lives miserable life. As a beggar. That is the thing. IPOB, we are not beggars. We stand on our right. We have, we have our right. What we are doing is self-determination. It is under the constitution of Nigeria, under international law, international charter. So, we are doing the right thing. Because the situation we are in Nigeria is not favorable to us at all. We want to grow. They don't want us to grow. They believe that they see us as people that are defeated in a war and we must be subjugated. And we say no, no to it. We must fight in order to liberate ourselves from that, from that uh, situation which they put us. So, whether you are an IPOB member or not, please support, contribute to your efforts, contribute to your quota in what you are doing. Biafra remains our ideology. Biafra remains our religion. We must continue to making sure that we achieve our goal. Mazen, Mazen Amdekano must be released. That is it. Thank you for listening. From me, Mazen Jonathan Chinedu, from here, it is simply good evening.